Hi guys, you're on VRM24.com and today we are going to assemble Huawei Mate Pad SE or Special Edition. First thing we need to do is remove the card tray. To do this, we use a special tool inserted into the hole and carefully push out the card tray. Next, we need to heat the surface of the display to approximately 70 degrees Celsius or 160 degrees Fahrenheit. For this we use a heating mat. And we highly recommend not to detach the display by yourself at home using a hair dryer or any other devices. As the display is really thin, it is difficult to detach, well glued and so easy to damage. Therefore, if you need to open the display, it is better to contact a service or repair center. So after 15 to 20 minutes of heating the display, we move on to detaching it. To do this, we first use a thin plastic film. We try to insert it into the gap between the display and the case or housing and carefully run it along the edge, cutting off the adhesive base. We need to be really careful not to push the film too deep so that we don't accidentally damage anything. We can also put something under the display on the separate part. For example, in our case it is a plastic card so that the display doesn't stick back to the case. Also, please note that we need to be careful in the area of the front camera because it is located in the place of adhesive and it is easy to damage it. So we carefully pass along the edge. By the way, removing the display takes on average 10 to 15 minutes. And we can carefully try to leave the display. We look at which side and how the cable is located, carefully leave the display, turn it over so as not to damage anything. Then we need to remove the screws that fix the connectors. To do this we use a Phillips screwdriver 1.5mm or Phillips hash 3 o We carefully unscrew the screws, place them on a special surface in a certain order so that nothing will be mixed up when reassembling. There will be many screws and the screws will be different from each other. Pay attention to this. After that, we need to detach the brackets that hold the connectors. It is better, of course, to use a non-metal tool so as not to accidentally short out anything on the circuit board. We carefully detach the bracket and disconnect the battery connector. We detach the second bracket, which holds the cable leading to the display. Please note that it is held by a hook. We remove the bracket to the side, disconnect the cable connector to the display and we can carefully remove the display to the side. After that, we need to unscrew a lot of screws. For this, we also use a 1.5mm Phillips screwdriver or Phillips hash tool. First, we unscrew the screws that hold the loudspeaker and the small board with a charging port. After that, we can detach the bracket that holds the charging port and the small circuit board. We find the right place for which we can pry and actually remove this bracket. After that, we gently disconnect the connector on the motherboard and remove the small board with a charging port and the interboard cable. Then we move on to unscrewing the remaining screws. For this, we also use a 1.5mm Phillips screwdriver or Phillips HTO. 
We carefully unscrew the screws that hold the frame, that hold the motherboard, that hold the loudspeaker. It is better to place the screws separately from the previous ones on a certain surface. The screws can be marked or taken pictures. After we have removed the screws, we can detach the frame. The frame is held on clips, so we need to carefully pry the right place and unclip the clips that attach the frame to the case and hold the frame in this case. We carefully disconnect the clips, thus detaching the frame, which holds the motherboard. Carefully, no need to hurry, no need to act by force, so as not to accidentally damage the plastic frame. And we can carefully remove the frame to the side. After that, we need to detach the loudspeaker. To do this, we lift it from one side and pry up the contact pad from the inside. We can also detach the cameras. First, we remove the rear camera. And then we can detach the front camera. For the front camera, the connector is shaped like a lock. We need to first open the lock and then remove the cable and the camera itself, which in addition is glued to the case. After that, we need to unscrew one screw that fixes the motherboard. This screw has a warranty sticker on it. And now we can detach the motherboard. Carefully pry up the edge, lift and remove the motherboard. And it remains for us to detach the last loudspeaker. Also, carefully lift from one side and from the inside carefully hook and separate the contact pad. So, this is the end of our assembly. Thank you for watching and see you around or in the new videos. Okay guys, now we're done, thank you for watching. If you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, or read our articles on our website. Take care of yourself and until next video.